Question 6. So this is quite a complicated angle problem. I can see I've got a couple of parallel lines markers here telling me that there's parallel lines going on as well. So calculate the size of angle X. Well the first thing I can see is that this angle here is going to be 180 minus 41. Uh, and the reason for this is because of the angles on a straight line and that missing angle there is 139 degrees. What I'm actually going to do just underneath it is write in angles on a line equal 180. So what I'm doing at each step of the way is I'm giving reasons for my answer. Okay, so once I know that this is 139, you can see where I'm going to go next. I'm going to try and work out what this missing angle is. Once I've got those two, x is easy to find. So to work out this one, I'm going to use the fact that I know something about the angles going on here, this 120 and this big angle here in the corner. Both of these two angles must add up to 180. This is because they're co-interior angles. So I know that the whole angle here is 60. So to work out this part of it, I actually need to do 60 minus 38 degrees. This is going to give me my missing angle inside this one of 22 degrees. And just underneath I'm going to put a reason, um, 60 degrees because it's co-interior with, and I'll identify this one as the 120 degree angle. Okay, and there's my second reason. So once I know that this one in here is 22 and the one at the top is 139, angles in a triangle add up to 180, so all I'm going to do is 180 minus 22 minus 139 and that's going to give me my missing angle which is 19 degrees. And I've already got my reasons in here that justify getting me full marks.